Hello everyone. Welcome to the Conscious World Initiative. And this session is on Q meditation, also referred to as quintessence meditation. I'm your host. My name is Raymond Q. Holmes. I'm the founder, director of the Conscious World Initiative. We are a nonprofit organization dedicated to dynamic personal development, which includes learning quintessence meditation, stress mitigation training, creating a healthy lifestyle, and many other programs that we have through our online courses and our podcast. So today's session on cue meditation is going to be broken up into three parts. The first part is an explanation of the three equals four technique that underlie the cue meditation. The next part is a five minute demonstration where I'll talk us into meditation. We'll sit together uh, for a five minute meditation. And then the last part will be giving you contact information on how you can contact us if you would like to take advantage of our online programs, courses, and our podcast. So to begin with, I've been meditating for 45 years, and I'm happy to share with you the quintessence meditation technique that I use. This technique uses what I refer to as three equals four. There are three techniques that equal the fourth which is the benefit that you derive from sitting in stillness or sitting in meditation. So in a moment, I'm going to go through each one of those techniques, and then we will sit together for meditation. So how does quintessence meditation work? Q meditation works with suspending the five physical senses, the sense of taste, the sense of touch, sense of smell, sense of hearing, sense of sight. And so when we begin meditating, that is our goal, is to suspend the five physical senses. So when we suspend the sense of touch, for example, you're trying to sit still and motionless for the duration of your meditation sitting. You want to make sure that you don't fidget or that you don't move through the course of the meditation sitting. Sense of taste is suspended because we're not going to be eating anything while we're meditating. Sense of smell is suspended because we're not going to be burning any incense or anything in the environment, trying to make the environment more charged. Sense of hearing is suspended. And this is where I recommend that you purchase industrial grade earplugs. The earplugs that I use are Howard Light earplugs. Light is spelled L-E-I-G-H-T dot com. You can purchase them also from Amazon. These are industrial grade earplugs. They block out 33 decibels worth of sound. I also recommend that you use a timer. For example, the meditation timer that I use is called Insight Timer. And with Insight Timer, it keeps track of your meditation session. You can start it at the beginning and then at the end, it chimes and it brings you out of your meditation practice. But most smartphones have a timer already installed or you can go to your app store and you can download the Insight Timer. This is the one that I've been using for a number of years. So let me explain the three equals four meditation technique. The first technique is referred to as stilling the body. When we still the body, if you're going to be sitting on a chair, for example, I'm here in my office, and if I was going to be meditating here in my office, I'm sitting on a chair, making sure that my feet are comfortably placed on the floor, that there is no tension in my leg muscles, no tension in my stomach muscles, there's no tension in my shoulder or neck muscles. And you want to make sure that your body is motionless without fidgeting or moving, 
for the duration of the meditation sitting. The next one is stilling the mind. This is the most challenging. When the eyes are closed and you're sitting perfectly still, most people experience being bombarded with a series of thoughts. And this mind chatter can be controlled by using repetition of a five word phrase or what most people refer to as a mantra. So in the beginning practices of Q meditation, we use a five word phrase and our five word phrase is inner peace begins with me. Inner peace begins with me. Another variation would be outer peace begins with me. Outer peace begins with me. Or inner peace begins with me. Outer peace begins with me. And if you need to add an additional repetition, it would be world peace begins with me. So we will be cycling through this five word phrase mentally not out loudly, because if we were to speak it out loud, our ears would pick it up and it would be disturbing our meditation practice. So the third technique is focusing our concentration, focusing our attention. What does that mean? When the physical eyes are closed, you notice there's a field of darkness that you see in front of you. And that field of density, that field of darkness is our point of concentration. And our physical eyes look outside while when our eyelids are closed, we're actually looking inside. And when we look inside, the initially what we see is a field of darkness. So meditation inside is just sitting still, gazing into the center of that field of darkness that you see in front of you without putting any pressure on your eyelids. There's no pressure on your forehead. Your eyeballs are straight. You're gazing into the center of that field of darkness. Just for example, just like you're looking out beyond the bridge of your nose about eight to 10 inches in front of you, just gazing into the center of that field of darkness. And that's the practice of Q meditation. We still the body, we still the mind by using a five word phrase, inner peace begins with me. And then we focus our concentration as you're looking inside, we'll look into the center of that field of vision that you see in front of you. And you're just gazing, looking, watching, witnessing what unfolds in the center of that field of darkness. As you become more practiced in meditation, what you'll notice is that that darkness gets lighter and lighter and lighter. And then you'll start to see different forms of radiant inner light. That radiant inner light can be of different colors. And then beyond that, there are vistas of light and that takes us into the advanced stages of meditation. So let's have a meditation demonstration. We'll sit for five minutes. I'll talk us into meditation and our timer will bring us out of meditation. So essentially, I'm going to put in uh, my earplugs. I put one earplug in. And then I'll give us the meditation instructions and then I'll place the other earplug in and then I'll begin the timer. So here are our meditation instructions. Meditation is a process where we bring our awareness from the world outside, we bring it inside the body to the point of concentration which is in the center of the field of vision that you see when your eyes are closed. When we begin meditating, you want to make sure that your body is totally relaxed, that you take up a pose that you can maintain for the meditation, sitting, 
If you're going to be sitting for five minutes, then you want to make sure that you don't move or that you don't fidget for the five minutes. For example, you can take your left hand palm up and your right hand palm up and you can place one inside of the other and just sit very comfortably if you're sitting in a chair. Next is closing our eyes. When we close our eyes, you're closing your eyes very sweetly, very gently, as if you are resting for sleep, but we remain fully awake, fully alert behind the eyes. There should be no pressure on the eyelids. There should be no pressure on your forehead. You're not squinting to try to see anything because remember, when the physical eyelids come down, we're not looking outside. We're actually looking inside and what you're gazing at cannot be seen with the physical eyes. They're seen with a different receptor. So as your eyes are closed, you notice there is a field of darkness that you see immediately in front of you. And you're just gazing into the center of that field of darkness. This is not like a laser beam gaze. This is gazing into the general area of the center of that field of vision that you see in front of you. And you're just gazing there, you're just looking, watching, witnessing, noticing what unfolds in the center of that field of vision that you see in front of you. So I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. And at the end of five minutes, you'll hear a chime. I'm going to put my last earplug in. This will block out any of the outer distracting sounds. I recommend that you put your phone in airplane mode or mute your phone so it's not distracting or disturbing uh, your meditation sitting. So our eyes are closed. We begin repeating to ourselves mentally, not out loudly. Inner peace begins with me. Inner peace begins with me. Or outer peace begins with me. Or world peace begins with me. And you're just looking into the center of that field of vision that you see in front of you. There's no squinting. There's no pressure on the eyelids. There's no pressure on the eyeballs. You're just gazing out beyond the bridge of your nose about eight to 10 inches in front of you. We're just sitting in stillness. We're just watching, looking, noticing, observing what is in that field of vision that you see in front of you. And if your thoughts come in and distract you, then once you realize that you've been distracted, then bring yourself back to the center and begin again with your repetition. Inner peace begins with me. Inner peace begins with me. So at the end of five minutes, you'll hear three chimes, and I'll ask you to please open your eyes.
Please open your eyes. That's five minutes. And the benefit of meditation is that it calms our brain waves, it returns your body to a state of coherence, and the feeling of inner peace, tranquility, serenity that you feel, you take that with you uh, throughout your entire day. And so there are tremendous benefits in meditation. I'm just giving you an introduction to Q meditation. There is an intermediate level, and of course there is an advanced level. And like I said before, I've been meditating for 45 years, my entire adult life, and the benefits are simply tremendous. So if you would like to follow up with us, you can contact us at our website, which is www.tcwinp, which stands for the Conscious World Initiative Nonprofit .org, org. My email address is Raymond at tcwi.info. And you can come to our website. Uh, we would be happy to have you there. You can look at our online programs, our courses, and our podcast. We do question and answer. We have just a lot of material uh, that you can take advantage of. Uh, like I said, our nonprofit is dedicated to dynamic personal development. So we have a lot of personal development material um, that is there. It's been my pleasure uh, to spend this time with you to introduce you to quintessence meditation, also known as Q meditation, and I look forward to seeing you at some time in the future. Take care. Bye-bye.